Hello there, Professor Bright. And we're actually starting in the middle of a trip this time, just to, you know, break things up a bit. And partially because I didn't remember to pause the recording when I uh, was back at port there. Minor detail! Minor detail, not anything you need to worry about. But we are headed back to London because our hull is currently at 2. So I've got a feeling, a suspicion you might say, that uh, we're going to be changing captains pretty soon. Unless, of course, by some miracle we don't end up getting any sort of... Uh, oh, there's the Iron Republic music. Oh, there's a ship up there, which I'm just running away from. Uh, yeah. If by some miracle we manage to, you know, not die, that'd be great. The Utter Shroom is a long way to the northeast. Well, I mean, I'm headed northerly anyway. Maybe we can find this shroom of theirs. Maybe there'll be someone to repair the ship. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. This I like. Oh, that's just... I mean, can you not? How can you not like this? Let's dock there. The Utter Shroom. The queenly core of this spore... Eh. The queenly core of this spore-haunted sea. Let's climb the fungal fiber ladders to its summit. Shaggy, suspicious villagers scratch a living here amidst endless clouds of spores and scurrying mobs of plant-animal hybrids. None of them ever leave. Monsters, one explains darkly. Z full of monsters. Hmm. Oh, they would have liked a frickin' of honey. Ah. Oh, well. Hmm. Well, I think we can gather intelligence. What happens here on top of a mushroom the size of Marlboro? A slow survey. The villagers live a shabby but sufficient life. The utter shroom provides. They are secretive. Taciturn, incurious, ships rarely visit. Hmm. Oh, out of curiosity, now no shops. Oh well. Let's visit the village. Hospitable? Not exactly, but they usually don't chase you off with sticks, and they usually let you sit beside their mildew-smelling fire. Oh. Well, more terror. A day of spores. The Utter Shroom releases spores according to its own inscrutable schedule. Today the air is soupy thick. They coat your hair, they clog your throat, they gather like sleep in the corner of your eyes. Conversation with the Shroomers is impossibly hard. You return to the ship, where you find a tiny purple mushroom growing already in your ear. Well, it seems like a good time to leave. Bye. Goodbye. You guys have fun here. Now that place exists. Yay. Hmm. Oh no, ship. I think those might be Royal Navy colors, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the blue might be Royal Navy. I did see, before we retired that other captain, that uh, there were some blue ships that I was terrified of. I think they might actually belong to the Royal Navy, like they're rebuilding, essentially. At least I hope that's what that was. Well, either way, didn't bother me, so I'm okay. I get to live for a little bit longer. Oh, Moody's Light. Oh, hey, whoop. Demo's Gate! Aha! We found the Funging Station. Probably. A long way to the east? Eh. Sure, we'll risk it. Because, I mean... Mm, I'm torn between wanting to go back home and... Oh, but if I go up through Mutton Island, I'll get attacked by those crabs that'll kill me because I have two hull left. 
Oh, this is not ideal. Hmm. I think that might be Demo's gate right there. By which I mean the funging station. Yep. I gained another secret. Which reminds me, we haven't spoken to our officers. Once we get to the funging station, we'll uh, tend to that. Docking. A fervid forest of fungus. Iron and Misery Company Funging Station. I&M has a funger operation here. Felling giant bolagus shrooms for building materials, harvesting curly for its medicinal properties. It's a desperate little outpost of something like civilization. Up puffs the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We'd go quite mad out here otherwise. Ha 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 ha. Quite mad. How can we be of assistance? We'll give him the pass sign. The Admiralty asked you to bring back strategic information. This is your contact. A strained smile. Yes, yes, I have it here. The courier ship to Mount Palmerston stopped off to resupply. Tell the Admiralty. Tell them I miss my children. Tell them I can't take it here much longer. The spores. The dark. Well, we have to have tea with the gentleman. The poor fellow needs the company, and he can spare an hour away from his schedule. An interlude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking out over the fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale. Even the tea has a hint of mildew. But the factor is good company. He shares odd stories about the ice and roses of iron, the monstrosities of the sea of lilies, and a little restaurant in Venderbite where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. Venderbite, I know. I'd never met a tomb colonist who could cook, but you must visit the place. Do you know it? He also has a load of bologus frond carted aboard your ship. He waves away your thanks. I've eaten so much of the stuff I fear I might be transformed entirely into fungus. He leans confidentially towards you. It happens, you know. But one does have to eat rather a lot of it first. Nice place. Let's uh, get our port report. The Admiralty likes to keep an eye on Iron and Misery's activities. The business with spores. Of course, I&M's activities here don't seem that interesting. Nevertheless, record what you can. And go. Now I'm going to have to approach London very carefully. I'm going to have to bypass Mutton Island entirely. I'm going to have to go in through Bad Stevener's Abyss. Assuming we want to, you know, survive. Which I kind of do. Although, it would be kind of nice to have uh, Mount Palmerston all dealt with as well. I think last time all that did was hurt our crew, though, not in our hull. And I'll be honest, I'm willing to risk the crew for the sake of not dying. My willingness to sacrifice the crew might be an issue, just with me being the captain, but, uh, eh, I'm okay with it. I'm sure it'll all work out. It'll be just fine. Bonnie Reefs, I'm... no, I can explore you later. Pause Jean Bleaks are south of where I need to go. Restless Watch. Oh. In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. We could inquire about their dreams. What did they see? Eyes and a face. Hmm. The whole neath lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the roof, Captain. It is the roof. It's watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. Yes, you say softly. You lay your hands on the Zaylor's burning forehead. There are storms in the roof. Hush, we won't join them yet. Oh. Neat. And now we're haunted. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to risk light. Ah. Costs fuel, which I need to not, you know, spend too much of. On the other hand, Pier Wall Point. That was apparently found at some point. Good to know. I don't know if that's a dock that we would 
have some use for, but at least we know it exists. And, ooh, mm, let me turn on the lights just to, because our terror is at 80, and I would rather it didn't get up to 100, because I don't want to deal with a mutiny. I just don't have it in me to deal with. Mm. Yep. I think we should be safe. I think we should be just fine. I think we should be just perfectly fine. Okay, that terrified me for a moment. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. You're not coming over here. Nope. I've killed thousands of you. I don't need this. Nope. Don't take revenge. None of that. Oh, come on, nobody? The light ship? No? No? Okay. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Just don't bother attacking the pirate frigate. It's fine. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> uh. Yep. Yeah. So, that happened. Oh, dear. That was a close one. But we survived! And we got lots of parabola linen. And other fun things. Breath of Relief. Oof. As soon as the gangplank touches the quay side, the terrors of the deep sea lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling? Well, oh, we dealt with our last nightmare pretty easily. I'm sure this one will work out just the same. Collect our messages. Well, I didn't lose them, so what do you what do you want? What like Well, hmm. we'll go to this admiral first. That's on that strategic information. We get our 150 echoes, and then port reports. Just tons of them. You've been to Demo's gate? Yes, we have. Thank you for that 20 echoes. That's not as much as I'd like. Quaker's Haven. Command Canal. Well, if you've been there, I suppose we may as well hear about it. The fee is nominal, though. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> the Utter Shroom. We spent time in Mycelagia. Mycelagia? Mycelagia. That's what I'm going with. Dear me, I am most terribly sorry. Fifty Echoes. I'll take it. The Iron Republic. Excuse me, I need to unlock this. And this. Oops, and this. Did you place your report inside? Yes, I imagine someone will read it eventually. There's always someone. Hmm. I... No, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Some reports should not be reported. No, no, don't concern yourself. This is my third best suit. And the Admiralty offers a modest allowance for document-related damage. Perhaps if... It's best if you leave now, though. Good day. Ah. Well. That's interesting. Hmm. The Grand? Yes. Yes, of course. We're generally quite well informed on that topic. But since you're here, perhaps you may as well let us know what your own impressions were. Hmm. Report submitted. The, the Admiralty official takes notes scrupulously, but with an expression of mild terror, like a novice vivisector wincing with a scalpel. The rest of the office studiously busy themselves with other tasks. So, why are you terrified of them? Anything in particular that you need? We've already submitted our reports. Where will we go? Oh! The Command Canal! <laughs> That's an easy one. Hmm, what does he need, though? Oh, just as before. Information. Visit a port and will be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest 
and will be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We'll pay you well, don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. His lip curls, what's left of it. Hmm. Well, let's go back to the docks, eh? And a new recruit's waiting, so why not? The genial magician. Ah, uh, I think I have, uh, yeah, I've got the chief engineer already. Although, hmm, if I hire you on for 50 echoes, which is a bit more than I would like to spend, would I have access to him at any time? We'll find out. Engage an officer, the genial magician. Good afternoon, citizen. Perhaps I can do your engine some good. No? Haha. <laughs> I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. Welcome aboard. I'll get to work below. Perhaps I should change out of this jacket first, of course. Hmm. Oh, we can do a visit to the tattoo parlor, since we're a real sailor now. Hmm. Ooh, the gambit. Ah. Uh, no, I think we're, uh... Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, we'll just go the unflinching eye. Or the wheel... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the unflinching eye. You've seen such sights. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clathermont hums. At the end of the process, the tattoo's gaze is so expressive... You almost expect it to blink. You are almost hesitant to look your own look your own arm in the eye. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see what the urchin yeah, see what the merchant venturer wants. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Governor wants a word. Brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. We'll speak to him. I have need of a reliable agent, failing that an inventive one. Here are my requirements. A dream and a scheme. Ah. Oh. Something savage. Hmm. <laughs> I think not. Seven peculiar fish corpses. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, but not something I can really do anything about right now. Oh, I can actually afford one of these, uh lights. Is there a space for things on the bridge? There is, so I think why not. And while we're shopping around, let's see, we paid 57 and they're only giving us 60. Mm. Okay. Fine. It's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Well... Hmm. I'm not going to give him the strange catch, because it could be useful later. But we'll give him a Z-story. And once again, impaling spiders on pens. I don't know how you do that, friend. I really don't. And our distant shores make him cry a little bit. I know it's not the best rate, but, you know, I'll take it. And most importantly, let's use the Admiralty Yards to uh, repair our ship completely. Ah, oh, so much better. Ooh. Ah, well, enough of that. Hmm, I'm curious about a live specimen, but I want to save up for a proper house because... Eventually, to let me build the Song of the Z, which is our goal for this little game. So, you know, might be useful. Hmm. I can spend ten echoes to get a little bit of sleep. Hmm. No longer yearning and burning. Oh, from the Grand Geode. Hmm. If you don't have the echoes to go out roistering, best stay at home. I'd love to know what roistering is. The rats keep you awake of nights with their... The rats keep you awake of nights. Hmm, not sure that's a sentence. 
But regardless, they keep you awake of nights with their muttering and skirmishing. But the bed is warm and the door has a lock. What could be more important? Back to the rest of the city, though. Could carouse, could hire on more crew, which is not a bad idea. Even if it is for 30 echoes. Your tall tales find a ready audience. Scarred and seasoned men and women tramp aboard and find places to sling hammocks. And... Mm, we can leave with a full compliment, why not? And we're gonna just, uh... Hmm. You know what, we'll head to the Cuman Canal. I was debating if we want to end it there, but now we can just drop by the Cuman Canal. It's not that far away. Pick up our information, and then maybe go take another run at the Dawn Machine. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, it's that pirate frigate. And you're stuck. Wonderful. Stop engines. Toggle off the lights. And a fire. Yes, I am exploiting this opportunity. Because that is the best thing I can do. No, it's not going to be interesting for you to watch. I'm sorry, but... Uh, well, I could use extra resources, and killing fr fr yeah, killing frigates is kind of the best way. Nope, I've begun to dream of a vast eye again. Oof. Let the eye see whatever it wants to see. Not sure what that's about, actually. And goodbye, frigate. Let's see what you had before you got stuck on the rocks. Like an idiot. Loot and scuttler. For fuel and supplies. And parabola linen. Which apparently is a good 60, uh... 60 echoes. Hmm. Oh, hush. Captain can't be seen to take these things seriously. The crew is subdued as they take their meals, but all is quiet in the next watch. And once again, drop by Mutton Island to get that little report so we can get more fuel, get more uh, funding. And once again, they just can't resist eating food before we get to the, uh, hello, Cinnabar Caligo class cruiser. Okay, so presumably that belongs to the Navy. Because it didn't attack us. Oh, dear. If it's not hostile, I assume it belongs to London. We'll chat them up. And actually, let's uh, explore the shore a little bit. Oh, hello. Beachcombing. Take a stroll along the beach. Perhaps the Z has brought you something. Remnants of a shipwreck. Oh. What's washed up here? Eleven fuel! Stamped with the marks of the Royal Navy. Some naval picket met its end out here. Well, you can find a use for it. I certainly can. That was useful. Now I just have to worry about supplies. You know, assuming I care about my crew, which I... Uh, I mean, of course I care about my crew. Why would you suggest that I don't? Am I not always caring of my, uh... Members, I'll even give them light. Look, it's fine. See, now that we've lit up the dark and terrifying sea, you can see the little uh, crab like things which we're going to kill for food. You're going to eat electric crab. Apparently. At least I assume it's electric. Again, not clear on the nature of these little critters. And come on! Really? Just holding on there. Butcher it. Glowing fresh. Ugh. The glowing fresh is unstable. It crisps and withers as the gl eh. It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Yeah, I'm just gonna stumble over my words. It's good. It's 
all good. Nearly all clear. And far off, very far off, someone screams. I really wish I could figure out who or where that is. But uh, at the same time, I'm not inclined to help them. The Z is a brutal and evil place, and I'm just not inclined to go and help people. See that jellyfish? That thing could probably sink us. Ah, yes. We'll flee the nightmare because, again, it's, you know, straightforward. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I suppose it's good. That's actually a good question. Is there a benefit to keeping the nightmares going? Hmm. Well, gather up the court report. Not gonna go to the surface, because I remember what happened the last time we did that. We will fulfill our Admiralty Commission. Go out and meet a contact at the foot of the Albertine Gates. The password is The Empire Remembers. Hmm. In the shadow of the gates, a deeply tanned vagabond waits in a jolly boat. His clothes are ragged and his face is filthy, but his voice and manners are educated. His message is a string of numbers, in the name of seven towns in Essex, Shropshire, Cumbria. He insists that you repeat it back to him three times. He will not allow you to commit it to paper. Interesting little code you got there. We'll listen for surface gossip. This would be a prime spot for a pub or a wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries and long moored ships. Here you trade stories with suntanned surface sailors, stories of Paris and Batavia, the Lost Fires and the Final Isles. One vision of surface. Sounds pretty useful. Not going to the surface, though. But let's think about our next move.